Real estate signs are still an offline marketing tool for many real estate professionals to draw attention to a particular property for sale. And using them as a marketing or advertising method is not that easy to track performance wise as online advertising. But the same goals still apply to real estate sites. You probably want to generate leads with them without having to experiment a lot and A-B testing is quite difficult to do. Nevertheless, you probably still want the best chances to convert drive-bys into leads from the get-go. Therefore, there is one question that is often asked. What are the best colors for real estate signs? And in this video, I will discuss different sign forms, the signs on color psychology and give you some bonus tips to think out of the box when it comes to signs. So these are the five different types of real estate signs. Well, not much of an explanation is needed when it comes to the question of what a real estate, real estate sign is. But to make sure we talk about the same thing here, I will give you a little explanation. A real estate sign is usually a physically rectangular surface made out of a durable material where text that announces a particular property for sale or for rent is announced. This sign is typically placed directly outside a house on the property so that enough people passing by can see it. Are there different types of real estate signs? Yes, there are five different types. Number one is the inverted L shape sign. So the inverted L shape sign is the most commonly used sign and is usually the first thing you associate with a real estate sign. It is often used by larger brokerage firms. In the past it was a wood post painted white and these days it is made out made of a durable aluminum stake covered in black or white powder. It is usually 66 inches tall, has a weight of between 5 and 15 pounds and can carry an aluminum sign with dimensions of 24 to 30 inches wide. The next one is the H-frame sign. This one is most suitable for lightweight corrugated plastic signs. The holder is usually made of metal. These types of signs are often the least expensive option for ground mounted real estate signs. And the next one are frame signs. Imagine two playing cards that you try to put together so they can stand together on a table and look like an A. From the side perspective. Now imagine this construction in a bigger version and you basically have a frame sign. They usually weigh less than a pound and the metal frames are made of steel and iron. Often you can choose between angle frames and rounded frames. The next one is the vinyl, vinyl decal sign. It's also the most economical option. It is often used in storefront windows to either advertise different product offers and of course to also advertise the, ability, uh, the availability of commercial real estate. They are often the best option when either ground mounted signs can't be afforded or can't be accommodated because of foot traffic. The feather flag sign is the next one. It is quite frequently used when it comes to advertising new constructions or apartments. They are polyester flags that are stretched over a curved pole can weigh around five, uh, five pounds and messages are placed in a vertical manner. They also have a swivel base so the flag can move when the wind blows. Now that we have the basics, let's get into colors which together with a right ad copy are more important than the shape or form of the sign. Although there is an exception when you use certain shapes in a quite creative way, I will get to that later. There are several statistics and scientific studies about colors and how they influence the consumer and buyer behavior. From the statistics and scientific facts I found, we can then derive what colors are the best for real estate sites. There is a field called color psychology, which studies different colors and how they influence human behavior. They can influence perceptions and cause different kinds of emotions in people. Depending on gender, age and culture, this influence can be quite different. In the field of marketing and branding, colors can be used to influence the consumer's, the, the consumer's perception and emotions about different products and services. For instance, some studies show that the color red can attract spontaneous buyer types. For 35% of women, blue is the preferred color in contrast to 57% of men. 
Converse influence 85% of shoppers' purchase decisions. People behavior, people's behaviors, mood, and stress levels are influenced by colors. This coincides somewhat with my article on video for real estate. Um, when potential buyers consider a purchase, they focus on visual appearance in 93% of the cases. Now, what are the different effects and associations of the different colors? Red stands for passion, aggression, and a sense of urgency. This color can also increase the heart rate and blood pressure and stimulate appetite. Take a look at McDonald's, at McDonald's logo, for example. Blue stands for reliability, tranquility, peace, and security. It also relates to the water and the sky. Some airports use this color, like for example, the International Airport in Houston at the TSA checkpoints. I realized that last time I went there. Yellow stands out the most and can cause positive emotions, such as creativity, optimism, and happiness. Can also attract impulsive buyers. Green stands for health, power, tranquility, harmony, and stability. It's the color of nature and is often used in eco-friendly products. Purple stands for uniqueness, royalty, respect, luxury, wisdom. It can also provoke creativity. Orange, since it's a combination on a yellow and red, it can also attract impulsive buyers and the ones looking for more affordable products. Therefore, it's also often used on landing pages for call to action buttons. Brown, well, since it's the color of earth, it can signal durability, quality, comfort, elegance, security, and reliability. Companies offering products made of leather or wood especially like to use this color. White stands for safety, simplicity, professionalism, intelligence, and cleanliness. Gray stands for wisdom, stability, intelligence, experience, and dignity. Black, while a bit risky to, to use due to its association with evil, darkness, and death, it can also cause a feeling of power, elegance, tradition, and sophistication. It's often used for high-end products. Blue, black, and gray are often used to target men, and pink, red, and purple are often used to target women. About other genders, I couldn't find color studies yet. Orange, red, black and royal blue can better attract impulsive buyer types. Teal and navy blue attract shoppers on a budget. Pink, rose, sky blue ideally attract the traditional buyers. So what are the best colors to use on a real estate sign again? As you might already suspect from the facts I mentioned before, there is no one general color for real estate signs you want to use. It again comes back to what type of property you want to sell and to which kind of target buyers. So all in all, it depends on the real estate niche you are working in. If you are selling high-end properties for the luxury real estate market, for example, you might want to use purple, brown and or black colors. If you want to communicate luxury, elegance, comfort, and sophistication, you may want to consider you might, may want to consider them. The colors you use for your real estate signs should be different when your specialty is houses in low price ranges. Here, your first choice should be the colors orange and or red, which attract the more impulsive type of buyers that prefer rather affordable properties. Affordable properties. The color red can also influence them into taking action faster. If you are in the real estate niche of healthy homes or sustainable buildings, you might rather use the color green, which signals health, harmony and tranquility. In turn, when you plan to do an open house, it can get a bit tricky, since one of the goals of an open house is to attract enough visitors. You want to influence people in a way that they take action and attend your event. Especially red, orange and or yellow would be good color choices since they can influence the action taking part. But if you do an open house for high-end properties, orange might cause a small conflict. Orange attracts more potential buyers looking for affordable products, but the best choice for high-end properties would be the colors purple, brown and or black. So you might need to create a smart and creative combination for your sign for instance brown slash black and yellow and yellow not being the main color used for your sign but as a call to action such as open house today now a little bonus tip to the end of this video the chances of success of the whole game of using real estate signs mainly depend on how well you can draw and create attention from potential buyers 
And attention is the first element of the most well-known copywriting formula, AIDA, Attention, Interest, Desire, Action, which I have already discussed in several articles on hackingrealestatemarketing.com. So while the right color is a very important factor in drawing attention and persuading the right target buyers, the shape or form of the sign can also be used to fuel this attention element. The types of signs I mentioned at the beginning of this, of this video are not exactly the best attention generators. They are the common signs that are most often used and are rather perceived as noise and thus don't stand out very much. To be able to use the form of the, sign, of the signs to generate attention you will need to get creative and think a bit outside the box. An article from the website close.com mentions several unconventional signs types that will definitely draw more attention than the popularity used ones. In one example, a sign has the form of a magnifying glass with the sign copy in the middle of the circle. Another sign has built-in lights highlighting the design and the ad copy. This will definitely stand out during the night. The next one takes the idea of a sign a step further and uses a small mobile home as a sign that you can enter. And the last example I wanted to mention is not playing with the form of the sign but with the type of typo used for the ad copy. This type of sign uses typos intentionally and handwritten font style as it is already often done in the wholesale real estate niche. For example, we buy houses with bandit signs. So I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring. Thanks for watching and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, see you soon.